that's really what Curve is. It was, you know, we'd started out making the record, and we were about six songs in, and not only us, but our, our, our producer, Jason, challenged us to do something different. He said, you know, it was sounding a bit like a, a natural progression from Burn Burn. So we had this big talk about, you know, just letting go and, and, and doing something that if no one really ever heard, or people just completely ignored because it was too out there, uh, that we'd be okay with that. And and that was the stepping off point for Curve. Now, it didn't quite get there, obviously, because radio has embraced the first song, which is uh, not what we intended, but it's a really great problem to have. Well, I mean, I know lyrically Rain really liked the image of of a boxer being knocked out, getting up off the canvas, and coming back out again. It was analogous for our, our, our situation in the band over the last seven or eight years, uh, also for our personal lives. Um, and it's such a bloody cliche, but you know, you really can't enjoy the, or you can't appreciate the peak without the valley. And it's so silly to say that, but it really is true. And, and the boxing metaphor was, was great for that. And when it came times to when it came time to think about how we were going to represent that visually, uh, we talked about a, a, a battered boxer on the front, and we had an image of one guy that uh, was not George. And then we started talking about George, and you know, George's life. Uh, he's had what 75, 76 fights, something like that, and he's uh, never been knocked out. He's been knocked down, but never been knocked out. And, and and in his personal life, he suffered such great hardship and loss, and and yet he's this philosophical, wonderful person that, that is, I don't know, it's just, he, he's just an inspiring guy. And we reached out to his family and we were lucky enough that uh, his wife really, you know, knew the band and, and, and she and George invited uh, us up for lunch and Jer and I went because we were the only two in town and we had this meeting with George, which was you know, him sitting around telling stories about his life and, uh, and them giving us lunch and him pulling out his photo album to have us choose photos from and and uh, it just be it, he's such a great representation I think of some of the metaphors we're speaking about in the record that and he's Canadian yeah. you know and, and he's an icon and, and he's a great guy and, and he was so inspiring that we I told Rain about the meeting and Rain said well why don't we get because we had this sort of moody song that, that that we wanted to keep just as a mood no drums or anything like that and rain said well why don't we just interview george get him to tell some of the stories and pull the best parts and put them on the record so we asked him if that would be okay and we went up to his house again about a month later and recorded him on a cell phone and and uh and that's what ended up becoming the spoken word part on the song metal which is the last song in the record <laughs> This immediate tour, yeah. <laughs> this is kind of like a promo tour, uh, and yes, you know, financially irresponsible, but it's a hell of a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> and because we're really trying to put an arena show, like arena lighting and video, in small clubs. Yeah, so it's uh, you, you'll see a lot of old songs. We're changing it up more on a night-to-night -night basis than we have been in on the past. We're pulling from a lot a greater pool of songs. And you'll hear a bunch of new stuff and you'll see some really great visuals. I'm an old, you know, I'm an old dog on that stuff. I do have a Twitter account. I actually have tweeted a little bit. Um, I understand why it's a really powerful tool and a good thing. I'm interested when I follow people who tell me really cool things about you know, alternative medicines or political beliefs or the odd funny joke but I'm less interested in people's you know mundane musings throughout the day you know there's so much clutter in our lives that uh, I think it's a I think it's, it's an achievement to declutter your life and signing up to Twitter or Facebook sure isn't doing that but um, I'm, I'm slowly embracing it and and I realized that the power in in the marketing message you know so I I'm, I'm changing my ways well speaking of social media some guys in the band I won't name who put a poll out 
through Twitter as to what some fans would like to see. And, and we based, you know, a, a number of our responses or our choices on their responses. I can feel this heavy weight.